David Wood, Apis, or Samir is watching this, I'm sorry if I hurt you. I'm sorry if I offended you. I'm sorry if, uh, if, if my words were insensitive to you. I'm sorry if one of your followers watched this and felt hurt by it as well. So I'm sorry about that. I'm not afraid to apologize. I'm not arrogant. I'm not arrogant. The messenger saw some defined arrogance. That when he speaks to people, he, he demeans them, downplays them. Me making fun of you, David Wood and Apis and Samir, was arrogant. And when the truth comes to them, they don't accept it. The truth did come to me. I was wrong. I shouldn't have hurt you. I shouldn't have harmed you. That was wrong of me. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Thank you, David Wood and Apis. Honestly, you guys made me realize something that I didn't realize before until you guys were like ripping the Quran and eating the Quran and doing all this disrespectful stuff to the Quran. You helped me realize something and honestly, thank you for that. I realized that there are bigger things happening in our world, within the Muslim world, that deserves more attention than even giving you a fraction of my time. And the reason I'm giving you a fraction of my time right now, it's not because of, of you specifically, it's a message to the Muslims out there. To understand something that these types of people, and by the way, um, I believe people like Apis, Apis, I don't even know why they call him that. Uh, yeah, I could think of a few reasons actually, but I'm not going to say them out loud. Um, is a abomination to other atheists. Because other atheists would never agree to what he was doing. David Wood is wrong, not on just levels, but Christians would disassociate themselves from him because Christians do not believe in, a true Christian, a true follower of Christ would never believe in doing something like that to someone else's book. According to your beliefs and your faith, you believe that Jesus came with love, he spoke with love, he was love, and doing what you guys did was hate. So you are a, you know, you are a, uh, you know, a stain to the Christian community, to the atheist community, because I know atheists who would never behave in that manner. That's all I have to say about you. But what you guys helped me realize is that true enemies, such as yourself, and I would rather know my enemies than not know my enemies. So thank you guys for revealing your enemy-like self to me. True enemies do not care if we follow the same manhaj. True enemies do not care if you're a Sunni or a Shia. True enemies do not care, you know, if you're if you're oh you're a Sufi or you're a Wahhabi. Or you're, you're a deal bund. You're a, I don't know, think of another name. I'm at the aquarium right now. You're like, SQ, what are you doing here? Finally, two minutes in, I'm telling you where I'm at. I'm at the aquarium with my family. I'm doing what I love with who I love. My family, who's left me, I told them I'll meet up with them later. I'll probably take you on a little tour right now. Um, true enemies do not care about discriminating against us. They hate us all. Try to understand what I'm saying. They do not care if you're a Sunni, a Shia, a Wahhabi, a Dioban. What uh, school of thought do you follow? Are you a Maliki? Are you a Hanafi? They don't care. And they hate us all equally. Okay? If you are a Shia or a Sunni, David Wood, a sorry, my, my, I got a phone call in between. David Wood, Apis, and the other dude don't care who we are. You understand? What they did with eating the Qur'an, it offended everyone. Everyone. Okay? So don't think a Sunni was only hurt, but not a Shia. We all were hurt when they do that. Allah SWT tells us in the Qur'an to come to common terms with each other. Okay, if we cannot come to common terms about things that we agree upon, okay, historical differences that people have, I get it, I understand. Can we at least come to common terms about things that we disagree upon? Do we not both disagree that them ripping the Qur'an was wrong, Sunni or Shia? Do we not disagree to that? Okay, good. That's a common term. Do we not, felt, did we not feel hurt when they disrespected the Qur'an, ripped it, threw it, ate it, Sunni or Shia? Did we not feel disrespected, both of us? The answer is yes. Okay. If we could come to common terms with this, then understand that that enemy is another common term that we share. 
okay? We shouldn't be attacking people like David. I know they attack us. And we're not here to do a Jesus thing where we turn the ref to light cheek. No, we have the right to defend ourselves. But not against people who, they're trolls. That's what they do. They, their job is to troll. So they're trolling. And they're doing a good job at it. I'm not going to be distracted by their trolling so that my good work is deviated. I'm not going to deviate my work for some trolls because I don't take their opinions seriously. They are a joke to their own respective communities because people who are atheists or Christians or ex-Muslims would never treat the Quran that way. Ever. Ever. Never. And this is a thank you message to them because they allowed me to wake up and realize that why are we busy fighting each other? Arguing with each other in the comment section, Ahlul Bayt, this. Oh no, 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 you're wrong, this. I'm not saying to not have differences. I'm just saying, isn't the enemy larger than our differences right now? Isn't the task at hand larger than our differences right now? It's just a thought. Why are we busy fighting each other when those who hate us don't discriminate against us, guys? At the airport, when they stop us, they don't care what sect you're from, what manhaj you follow, what school of thought. They don't care. They hate us equally. When that drone drops a bomb on us, bro, they don't care. They don't care about, you know, what school of thought we follow. They just don't like us. They're there to harm us. They're the enemy. Yet you and I are being enemies against each other? That just that doesn't make sense. How can we be enemies against each other, guys? We're supposed to be family. Families fight, families disagree, but family is family at the end of the day. But the shaitan has tricked us so much that we forget that we're family. And it's okay to have differences with your family, come on. But when it's Eid, you guys gotta celebrate, don't you? I, I wanted to make this video to help you guys realize and help myself realize. I don't know if you guys could see anything besides my Akhtar shirt, merch coming soon. I wanted to also do this because the lighting is pretty dope. And I, I, I didn't want my image or impression of David Wood and Apis and the other dude to be like that video where I'm cracking on his gel and his hair and his breath and all those things. Because you know what? I'm better than that. I'm better than that. And if David Wood, Apis, or Samir is watching this, I'm sorry if I hurt you. I'm sorry if I offended you. I'm sorry if, uh, if, if my words were insensitive to you. I'm sorry if one of your followers watched this and felt hurt by it as well. So I'm sorry about that. I'm not afraid to apologize. I'm not arrogant. I'm not arrogant. The messenger saw some defined arrogance. That when he speaks to people, he, he demeans them, downplays them. Me making fun of you, David Wood and Apis and Samir, was arrogant. And when the truth comes to them, they don't accept it. The truth did come to me. I was wrong. I shouldn't have hurt you. I shouldn't have harmed you. That was wrong of me. But I'm okay with making mistakes and owning my mistakes because that's who I am. I don't believe in this idea that I got to present this perfect image of me to the world. And that's what a lot of people do. I'm flawed. I have problems. I have anger issues. That's what I do. I'm, ne I'm regular just like anyone else. But just remember, guys, this, this was a wake-up call for me that we have to get a little better together, guys. We cannot continue to fight each other. We cannot continue to discriminate against each other, guys, because those who discriminate against us collectively do not care. They enjoy when we're, you're not, you're not, we're not united. They enjoy the fact that we're not connected. They enjoy the fact that when we're fighting each other. Why? Because they don't want to see us successful. So if you and I want to be successful, we got to put aside our differences and come to common terms with things that we disagree about. Anyone who violates Allah is wrong and it hurts us all. That's something we have to agree upon and it hurts us. Anyone who, you know, trashes the Quran or does something negative like that, that hurts us all. And we got to be mature about this and remember this. Not fight against each other in the comment section to look weak. We look weak when we fight. We look weak when we fight. Why wasn't it that Bani Israel was able to take over and overthrow Pharaoh? Pharaoh and his army were not more than the population of Bani Israel. But there was psychological warfare that he put against them. He made them fight each other so much, which allowed him to remain control over them both. 
Same thing happens with the Bloods and the Crips. Black people are killing each other. Right? Isn't that true? How is it that Black Lives Matter, yet Bloods and Crips are still killing each other, who are predominantly black? It's funny. It's funny that Jimmy Butler and Chris Paul can have a beef or an argument on a fight, but then both of them are standing up for the same thing, Black Lives Matter. Then why are two black brothers fighting each other? Why are two brothers fighting each other? Why are the Crips and the Bloods fighting each other? Why is that? That's all a part of the plot to make humanity weaker. So those who are in power can remain in power and control us. This isn't just a plot against Muslims and us hating each other. Christians feel the same way about their own sex as well. Jew, Jewish people feel the same way. We got to be able to stop fighting each other and fight the major machine, the main culprit. There's, a, there's an organization, there's a thought process, there's something that's causing us to fight over our differences instead of uniting together over things that we have a lot more in common over, those common denominators and put our efforts collectively and fight those who are truly harming us, the enemies of human beings, wallahi. So, just wanted to show you guys this. This was a, a little vlog style one. I'll show you what's around over here, by the way. Take a look at this. Uh, just some quick, that was, that was honestly the video. If you want to continue watching, that's cool. If you could get out of here, but just want to show you some of the creations of Allah. Cool, right? These are genetically modified. Just want to tell you that they in inserted the ink in them. I uh, just want to show you some of the creations of Allah. Uh, just know that Shia vlog thing where, you know, I went to a Shia majlis is coming up very, very soon. Um, the Uyghur social experiment that's there, go check that out. Definitely look at these fishes. If you, can, if you deny the existence of Allah, ooh, I feel bad for you. Honestly, how can you deny the signs of Allah? Look at this. Look, I've seen some jellyfish, guys. It was incredible. You know what I mean? But yeah. Um, what else? I had one more announcement I was thinking about. Oh, I'm thinking about doing more, more, more social experiments every weekend. I think that's what I want to do. I want to do a social experiment every single weekend. My next social experiment wants to be quizzing strangers about Islam for $100. That's what I want to do. I want to go to the mall and get strangers and quiz them about Islam. And if they get answers correct, they win $100. What do you guys think about that? Right? I think you guys might like that it hasn't been done before. Oh, look at the echo. Feel the echo? Okay. It hasn't really been done before. Is that a bear? No, that's a human. That's a human. That's a bum. Sorry. Um, but yeah. Sorry if this video is getting long now. I'm just vlogging a little bit. Showing you what's up. Look at this, guys. Boom. Subhanallah. Look at this. This is the creation of Allah. This is the creation of Allah that they deny. Look at this. Subhanallah. Anyways. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna make that video about quizzing, quizzing strangers about Islam, quizzing strangers about Islam for a hundred dollars. Now, look these these things. Oh, they're here. Family's here. Hey guys, look at this. Subhanallah, Subhanallah, Subhanallah. I don't think they're solar fishes. Come, come, go, go. Stay with there, stay there. It's my daughter. They're here with the family. I told you, doing what I love with who I love. All right, guys. Uh, last thing, but you know. Those things are getting expensive. That's why I'm trying to sell the merch. Uh, so keep, you know, support when I drop it. I'm kind of nervous about dropping. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm quite nervous about dropping it because it's only gonna be in America. I'm like, is anyone even gonna buy it? You know, I'm. I'm kind of. I'm not. You know, I'm. I'm. I'm honest enough with myself to let you guys know. I'm not gonna front here and be like, yo, merch is dropping, guys. Go cop it. You know, we're about to sell out. That's what liars say. I'm a nobody. You shouldn't be buying anything that I put out. But, you know, if you would like to support all the money that I'm getting for this is going towards the dawah. It's going back into these videos, guys. I really want to do some amazing things. But merch is a good way for me to reinvest inside the, the business. You know what I mean? The dawah business, so to speak. Um, but, yeah, so when I drop it, if you're in America, I think I'm just going to do it all from home and through, like, PayPal and stuff like that and just send it to people. I think that's the best bet for now before I do something more and more official. I appreciate any support that you guys give me. Um, other than that, guys, I'm about to be out, hang out with the family. As you can see, I got to go do. Thank you, David Wood and Apis, once again, for helping me realize how the task at hand is bigger than dealing with trolls. Just so much more bigger. Love you all for the sake of Allah. Um, yeah, some of my videos are right here. Go watch them. If not, that's cool too. Love you all. And uh, until next time, I'm out.